And now even with those incidents, some first responders in our area are saying that this 4th of July was a relatively quiet one. ABC 7's Andrew J. Polk visited the areas and agencies that were involved with today's cleanup, and he is live with the details. Andrew. Stephanie, Red Sands is popular with both off-roading enthusiasts and those popping fireworks and people looking for a place to party. And with as many as 8,000 people in the area yesterday, that leads to challenges for emergency response. Unfortunately, when you mix uh, an unregulated area, unmanaged area with uh, individuals that are young and um, are uh, consuming uh, alcoholic beverages, fights ensue and we end up getting major incidents like what we had last night. Jamil Ultron, chief of the Texas Rescue Patrol, says that even with that shooting investigation, his agency only had 11 emergency calls they responded to. That's down from 25 last year and as many as 35 in previous years for the 4th. The El Paso Fire Department saw a similar decrease with only 16 brush and dumpster fire calls compared to a usual 30 to 40. In the far east part of the county, Mutron credits greater coordination between emergency agencies and law enforcement for an overall decrease in incidents. So we've seen a decrease in the amount of call volume because last year and this year we've had the highest level of uh, a law enforcement presence that we've had in recent years. And, and that's all uh, contributed to El Paso County Sheriff's Office just doing a phenomenal job. Now, I did also reach out to the El Paso County Sheriff's Office for the amount of calls they received yesterday. They were not able to provide that information in time for our broadcast. Stephanie and Paul.